Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you how you can use a locally installed uh, large language model in your NA10 workflow. And the benefits of this are, if you have a fast enough machine to run a decent model, then you can actually use your LLM without having to pay uh, for the API tokens, basically. So you can use an LLM for free if you download it on your local machine and follow the steps to then connect it to your NA10 account. Um, and what, I'll, what I'm going to show you actually is with an NA10 that is running on render. So it's not on the NA10 cloud. All right. And the reason I'm doing this is because a few um, months ago, I, I basically put out a installation guide for NA10 on render with all the environment variables and everything. And I had a comment in the chat or uh, in the comments. <laughs> I had a comment in the comments that was asking to uh, basically guide through uh, using LM Studio with NA10. And LM Studio is what we'll be using to download the language model locally. There's other tools out there, but I'm going to be showing you through LM Studio. So the way to do, to do this is basically just, it's simple enough. Um, just go to LM Studio, download uh, LM Studio on your Mac. Once you do that, open it up and you're going to see four uh, tabs on the left. So first is chat, then developer, my models, and then discover. In order to download a uh, language model, you're going to go to um, discover tab here with a little search icon. You can search the model that you want. You have a, a huge list here that you can choose from. So select the one you want and then click on the download button right there. Make sure you have enough space on your computer because it's going to download it locally. Once you do that, I've got mine already. You can go into my models and then see what you've got. So mine is DeepSeek model. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to see how we're going to access this, this model, right? So, or how the outside world is going to access my model, the outside world being an A10 that is hosted on render. So if you go to the developer tab and toggle on the status toggle right here, you're going to see the endpoints that are listed here. All right, so the endpoints are going to be localhost and the port is 1234. And then you have v1, we have slash models. And then you just, what you want to do is just test it in your browser just to see that you're getting something back, that it's working. So I see something like this when I do the v1 slash models. And that is correct because I am using this DeepSeek model. And so it is working wonderful. Now what I want to do. Um, so that's all done. We've done all, all the steps here. Now what you want to do is, the problem is you cannot use um, this localhost URL within NA NA10 because NA10, that's on, on render, that's not hosted locally, that's hosted on render, it's not going to know to, to, or it's not going to be able to access your local machine and then find the language model and then use the language model. So what you have to do is you have to expose it to the outside world. There's different ways to do that. Uh, the way I'm going to show you is through a service called ngrok. And you can go to the download link here, ngrok.com slash download, and just download it on your, on your machine. Or you can also do it through the terminal. So if you go to your terminal, I've got it running already. Let's turn it off. Let's open a new window. And um, if you copy paste this brew space install space ngrok, press enter, you're going to download ngrok onto your machine. I've done that already, so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do it again. 
and I'm gonna paste all of these uh, terminal commands in the description so you can just copy paste it. Next thing you want to do is go to ngrok.com and actually create an account. It's really easy. Just go to ngrok.com, sign up. And when you sign up, then go ahead and verify your email address. And once you do that, go to the dashboard, dashboard.ngrok.com slash get started slash your auth token. You're going to want to get your... Um, yeah, your API token, and you want to run this command in the terminal with your API token that will appear here, just to kind of initialize the, or install ngrok basically, or configure it, yeah? So you enter that there, and then you, you're going to enter the whole thing basically, just copy paste the whole thing, and then just paste it and then press enter. I've done it already, so I'm not going to do it, but you press enter and it's going to configure that. And once that's done, that what you want to do is you want to run this command. And what this will do is basically it will give you an external URL to use that will forward to your local, uh, the local URL, the local link that you, ha you had with the local host, and you'll be able to use it within any 10. So if you copy that, and this 1234 is basically the port one two three four so you're exposing that port basically um so if i go back here paste that in press enter it's going to give me this wonderful old school screen and it's also going to give us this forwarding url to use right so you're going to copy that copy that url and you want to paste that in to your um, NA10 instance. But because we had that, you can see the endpoint here is actually v1. So you want to do is actually do slash v1 and then use that as the base URL, basically. So if you go to your NA10, this is a simple agent that I just... There is no customization, customization or anything. So what I've done is basically just typed agent and I got my agent. And obviously because I already have this uh, starting point here, it's not gonna give me because you can only have one starting point or one trigger. And then basically what I've done is I added a chat model. The chat model I add is the OpenAI one. And obviously, these are all the chat models that you can use with their API keys to access them and all of that. That's going to cost um, cost you money, depending on... I mean, some of the models are really cheap, so that's all good. But if you really don't want to spend anything, then using your local locally installed one is the way to go. So you do that. And then when you do... What, basically, what you need to do is once you add your chat model, right, double click and then do create new credential. When you create new credential, it's going to give you this window. API key doesn't matter what you enter, it can be one, two, three, ABC, it doesn't matter. And then this base URL is what's important. So you're going to copy that forwarding URL and then slash v1 into the base URL field here, and then click on save. Once you do that, and let me update this one because that's the one I will run. And then once you do that, save it. I'm gonna open the chat and I'm just gonna do, what's the typical weather in the UK in summer. Let's see what it gives us. And this might take some time, so we wait. There we go. Um, so it took about 42.4 one eight seconds, he used 855 tokens. 
all completely free because it's using my local version. So then it says, oh, that's a long one. <laughs> Let's see what it gives us. Uh, wow, it's an essay. Okay, this is the thinking part. This is the um, reasoning, right? So, okay, the user is asking about typical da 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 da. Let's see where that reasoning bit ends. Think. All right. There, there, that's quite a lot. All right. This is where it actually starts. Okay, let's break down the typical UK summer weather. Temperature. So it's giving us the temperature. This can vary. Even it talks about evenings, rainfall, sunshine, other facts. It's not typically the blazing sunshine of places like Southern Europe, although these days it is. Or North America. I think pleasant, but often sl slightly cool and changeable. Changeable for sure, but it's been very hot recently. All right, with frequent rain, despite the longer daylight hours. Always pack layers, waterproofs, and sunglasses. All right, well, th there you go. That's, that's how you can run uh, a model, and you can actually probably best to rename this to say, you know, local LLM, LM Studio, for example, and then you have the that's rename renamed as well, like this, this this bit here, local deep seek, and you can say LM Studio, and and that's how you run it. And basically, what you need to do is when you stop this, because this is what's and if you stop it, it's going to stop forwarding this URL to, to this local host, right? So if I do Control C to quit, this says Control C to quit. So if I do that, it's going to bring me back here. And now if I run my NA10 instance, if I say thanks, it's going to throw an error because obviously that base URL isn't working. So if I want to use it again, I'm going to have to do this command again to re-expose it. And it's going to use a different forwarding URL. So what you're going to have to do is actually everything is the same except this bit here, this number, uh, letter, and number pattern string here. So you do you just copy that, and you come back here, and you change that, you save it, save your workflow. And then you can say, thanks, and wait for another 42 seconds to get a reply. Or maybe your machine is faster than mine. Maybe you'll wait 41 seconds. Oh, that was quick. I guess less tokens used, so much quicker. So again, it's, it's doing the reasoning bit, and then... Reasoning ends there, and then he says, you're welcome. If you have any more questions, let me know. So that took 15 seconds. Surely the language models that are directly accessible through an A10 here are much quicker. If you like, if you really want to use your local models, you can, and it's not very complicated to set up. So there you have it. This is how you can run your language models for free through an A10 that's running on render. And I'm sure it would work on other NA10s as well. I will put all of the terminal commands that I have here in the description so you can just copy paste them over. And there you go. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.